Hi guys. It is a hot, sticky midsummer day here in uh, early June here. It is a gorgeous, but a little bit, a little bit hot and sticky day here uh, in the end times here on Sunday morning. That would be, I believe, June 6th here in Ithaca, New York, although it's feeling more like August 6th in, uh, in Austin, Texas than June 6th in upstate New York. Good Lord, heading up into the 90s today, I believe. But anyway, uh, it is a beautiful Sunday morning, and I'm out here, out here in the garden enjoying organic gardening. So, uh, you know, I bought this hoe yesterday. Went and got the hoe. And uh, so this morning I, I get up and, uh, you know, I'm, I'm right now as I'm doing this, I'm uploading this uh, Ben's interview with John Michael Greer over there on Collapse Chronicles. Be sure to uh, go over there on Collapse Chronicles and listen to uh, John Michael Greer tell us how to uh, survive the end times. And uh, so what I did, th this is no fucking joke. Uh, you know, my buddy Rob, he knows how to handle these machines. So I asked Rob to sharpen the hoe. When you buy a new hoe like at Lowe's, guys, you need to understand they are not sharpened. You have to, when you buy a hoe, or probably pretty much anything nowadays, you need to sharpen it. First thing you need to do. And uh, so I asked Rob to uh, please go out there and sharpen the hoe so I could get busy out here. And right, I mean, within three minutes of that, uh, you know, Ben was talking with John about how to survive Mad Max. And John Michael Greer's advice was basically, this is a little bit out of context, <clears throat> is learn how to hoe and grow vegetables or die. Yeah, learn how to hoe and grow vegetables or die. And, uh, <laughs> and I can't think of a better, better title for, the, for an interview on the end times than learn how to hoe and grow vegetables or die. And, and what he was talking about, and I'm going uh, to meet John Michael Greer halfway. You know, he was basically talking about how the meek are going to inherit the earth. Uh, and what I really enjoyed, you know, who, who he said, the, the people who are going to go first are these privileged, entitled, uh, he did not use the word white, but that's kind of implied, that the first people to go are these uh, people sitting around in their comfortable middle class homes, you know, their, their condos or their fucking little suburban tract homes in Pittsburgh or wherever, you know what I'm saying, uh, making their fucking YouTube videos uh, about the end of the world, but have no fucking clue how to get behind a hoe on a hot summer day, that uh, they're the ones who are going to go first. Now, I don't know where, I totally agree with that, I know exactly what he's saying, that uh, the people who are going to survive are not laying around on their fucking feather beds uh, in suburbia making videos about the end times. They're out there uh, behind a fucking hoe. Now, I don't know if John Michael Greer was suggest. I mean, that part of it, I agree with him on, but I, I can't tell where he thinks these one percenters, these one-tenth of one percenters are going to go, whether they're going to disappear as quickly as the uh, as the clueless fucking morons 
in their suburban condos uh, sipping their lattes while they're watching videos about Mad Max unfolding. Uh, not sure where, maybe, I, I haven't listened to the whole video, uh, so maybe uh, John and Ben talk about that exactly where those guys are gonna go. Uh, man, the problem with this, I can't tell what's corn and what's grass here. Ah, uh, shit, I, I think these are wild onions. Yeah, got these wild onions. I could be just eating, eating these instead of growing the corn here. Uh, you know, I was looking up. <clears throat> you've heard that thing. I, I need to get the source. You know, you've, you've probably heard about how since the corona panic began that 650 billionaires you know why while, while millions of of uh just regular clueless moron folks are in the damn unemployment line and the damn food line and whatnot since corona panic struck how the 650, I don't know if it's the richest people on the planet or what, in the past year uh, have put $1.8 trillion in their pocket. $1.8 trillion fucking dollars uh, in their pocket. So I went over on my, oh God damn it, I pulled up a corn plant. Uh, this is one of the problems with weeding cornfields as you pull up your baby corn. Sorry little guy, let's pitch you. Ah shit, he ain't gonna make it. Uh, you do the math on that and it comes out to an average of 2.8 billion dollars in the past year to 2.8 billion dollars per person. Uh, so while the rest of us are dealing with corona panic and fighting over wearing masks and all of this shit, 650 people averaging $2.8 billion in their pockets in the past year. And uh, I'm not sure if they're going to be out behind a hoe or not. But you know, this whole thing with getting behind a hoe, it's, I, I've had this rant before that, you, you know, as, as I'm certainly learning uh, this year, proving my point that the single biggest, the single biggest threat to these fucking intentional communities, these little eco villages and all of that is the division of labor that nobody wants to fucking get out there and hoe the corn. Uh, you know, planting the garden, you can usually get people, that find people to do that. Uh, certainly when it's time to harvest the garden, uh, people tend to show up. But it's, you know, it's chop wood and carry water, as I guess the Buddhists say, uh, that nobody wants to fucking chop the wood and carry the water. They want to plant the little seeds and they want to harvest the damn fruits of somebody else's labor. Uh, there, there's a hell of a lot more to this uh, than, uh, than sticking some fucking seeds in the ground and, and walking out a few weeks later and uh, enjoying your bounty. Uh, and, it, and it's this. It, it's just that people are fucking lazy. Uh, you know, that's why, you know, that's what he's saying. Either you fucking get out there and you hoe the corn or you die. Now, I guess a lot of people would rather die than get out there and hoe the fucking corn. And uh, for someone uh, who wants to just roll over and die as much as I fucking do, I don't, uh, I don't know uh, why I am out here in this hot fucking sun 
hoeing the corn myself. Uh, I honestly don't, I, I do not know, uh, guys, how much of Dulcinea's decision, you know, to uh, not show up here uh, has to do that, you know, I was joking around with her, although not entirely joking, uh, that her job here was going to be to get out and hoe the damn cornfield. Uh, and I guess she, she started, uh, as, as anybody else would, started thinking about being out. Okay, I've got two choices, Hamba, and I can lie here in my comfortable bed in my little suburban comfort trap, in my little velvet lined rut, uh, watching YouTube videos of, about the fucking end of the world, or, uh, or I can be, go up to your place and get out there in the hot sun and and hoe some fucking weeds in the cornfield and uh, like like anybody else with a brain using their fucking brain instead of their heart. Uh, she said, "Fuck that! Fuck that noise!" Uh, you ain't gonna see me out fucking hoeing a cornfield. But you better believe uh, when the goddamn cream corn comes off the fucking stove. Uh, you know, this, this is the, you know, it's, I guess it's the number one reason uh, that other than Alistair, well, I mean, Rob and Donna live here, but other than Al Brother Alistair showing up that nobody has shown up here uh, this summer. Uh, you know, what I'm asking people to do is pitch in two hours for, uh, you know, c coming up here for a night. Just throw in two, two fucking hours. But uh, the, the very thought of actually working for two hours, uh, you know, is, is, is gonna, is a hell of a lot more terrifying than the thought of Mad Max to most people. Yeah, we're, we're a bunch of fucking pussies. We're a bunch of fucking lazy ass and, and entitled uh, little pussies. That this is not what, uh, you know, what 61 year old white guys with five years of college are supposed to be doing with their lives. This is what uh, we have Mexicans for. But, uh, and John Michael Greer is correct. I guess those little, those little brown people, those little brown people are going to inherit the world. They're just going to have to get those, uh, pesky little people putting 2.8 billion dollars in their pocket uh, get them out of the way meanwhile I know we're all fucked I, I, I don't I, I don't pretend for one fucking minute guys that uh, me out here hoeing this goddamn cornfield on this hot summer day is uh, a I don't think Bill Gates is is shaking in his boots because Hambone Little Tail is out fucking putting his five years of college and real estate licenses in three states to work out hoeing the corn. I really don't think Bill Gates is is shivering in his boots thinking about it. Maybe I'm wrong. All I I just get back at his you know, what I'm doing right now is the most subversive act you can do to the fucking New World Order. Uh, you got two choices. You can sit there, make your fucking uh, little videos about Mad Max while you're out there shopping for a fucking futon. Yeah, you can do that. Or you can get off your fat fucking ass, put a fucking hoe in your hand, and, and, and get out in the fucking garden and uh, 
grow some corn or you can uh, you know just do what all those big farmers do so you know how these big industrial farms how they do what I'm doing is they you know they plant their corn they plant ten times as much corn as uh, ten times as much corn as they need you, you know to harvest ten fucking times and then what they do is they poison they they go out there and they put herbicides probably it's roundup is what it is uh, this is you know the GMO corn is resistant to roundup the reason for that is because they plant ten times as much fucking seed uh, and then they go spray Roundup uh, glyphosate all over their entire cornfield. And it kills 90% of the corn. They poison. So this is why, you know, every year in this country uh, that we're dumping how many hundreds of millions of tons of fucking glyphosate on to our food supply. Uh, I, I, I don't think a lot of people realize what they are genetically modifying. They are genetically modifying uh, the corn to resist being poisoned uh, by the herbicides. Uh, and this is how, you, you know, they have these humongous, uh, these, these giant fucking uh, industrial corn farms. And meanwhile, this is why glyphosate is showing up in the breast milk of walruses uh, at the fucking North Pole. Uh, because people are too fucking lazy to get out there and put a fucking hoe in their hand. It, it's just easier to uh, get in a fucking air-conditioned fossil fuel tractor and, uh, and spray fucking poison all over our food supply. And, uh, but it, it, it all gets down because they're too fucking lazy to, uh, to get out there and, and, and put a fucking hoe in your hand. Uh, that is what glyphosate is. It is a chemical poison hoe. Uh, is, uh, is what it is. And it's just one reason we're so fucked, but it all gets back that we're fucking lazy and there's too fucking many of us. You know, if we were feeding a planet of, uh, if we were feeding a planet of less than one billion people, uh, instead of eight to ten or whatever it is, we wouldn't be dumping fucking glyphosate all over our goddamn food supply. So anyway, anybody is fucking welcome to come up to bugs in a jar farm and feel what it's like to get behind a hoe. My guess is there's probably 300 people on the planet who are going to listen to this rant. And my guess, if, if out of that 300 people, if, if 30 of them, uh, if, if 30 people listening to this rant have ever held a hoe in their hand, uh, I will be shocked. I'm virtually sure that Dulcinea has never felt a fucking hoe uh, in her hand. Again, I'm, I'm really not picking on Dulcinea. I'm just using her as, a, as an example of, you know, of, of, of why we're so fucked. It's, uh, it's not that, this isn't fucking rocket science. It's not that people don't know how, how to use a fucking hoe. It's, they don't want to use a fucking hoe.
because it's a hell of a lot easier to go to the fucking store and buy all of this goddamn GMO corn. Anyway, I'm going to wrap up this rant and get back to hoeing my corn. Come see me at uh, Bugs in a Jar Farm to learn how to hoe. Learn how to hoe and grow vegetables or die. Look at this. Uh, Look at that magnificent pole bean frame. <laughs> Looks like uh, goddamn. Uh, this is the Stonehenge. Man, these little to these, these 45 cent tomato plants. Good God, Th these things have doubled in size in the uh, past couple of days. Look at those taters. Things are busting out all over. Get out there and put a hoe in your hand while you still can. Man, what a gorgeous morning if it wasn't 90 fucking degrees out here at 9 o'clock in the morning in upstate New York in early June. Anyway, I'm going to put my camera in the shade. Where's that little dog? Are you in the shade or what? You they bop? I want I want to show you. Uh, here is uh, here is how Sancho Panza. Ah, he got up. Sancho Panza was laying over here in the shade, listening to that rant. Now you act like you're getting a chippy. He was laying right here in the nice cool dirt in the shade. Lazy bones, sleeping through the day. What's the song? When potatoes need spraying, I bet you keep praying the bugs fall off the vine. Yep. Bet you keep praying the bugs fall off the vine. All right, I'm back out into the hot sun, man, this nice cool dirt that Sancho Panza found under this apple tree. Pretty sweet. <laughs>